Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best DSLR camera. Starting at number 5. Canon EOS 6D Mark II. Although it's a full-frame DSLR, the entry-level EOS 6D Mark II is impressively user-friendly. While the chassis can feel rather plasticky, the 26MP sensor housed within is stellar, and offers Canon's trusty dual-pixel CMOS AF system when using live view mode. With 45 AF points to choose from and a burst speed of 6.5 frames per second, there's plenty you can capture, including some decent wildlife shots as well. It's not quite fast enough for speedy trackside racing shots, but we discovered in our review that it does surprisingly well for most anything else. The rear touchscreen also offers tap-to-focus and tap-to-shoot for anyone missing a joystick. Despite that the 6D Mark II is reliable, produces great results and is still a favorite amongst enthusiast photographers. Coming at number 4. Nikon D7500. Fancy the Nikon D500 but don't fancy the price tag? Well, if you're prepared to make a few compromises here and there, the D7500 is what you should be looking at. It's packed with the same 20.9 MP sensor as its more senior stablemate, and also matches it in offering 4K video recording. Nikon has also furnished it with the same 180K pixel RGB metering sensor and the tilting screen on the back is just as large at 3.2 inches in size, although not quite as detailed, and it's all wrapped up inside a weather-sealed body. In our tests, we were impressed by a number of things, including battery life, image quality, and handling. It's a great all-rounder for those with a healthy amount of budget. On an even tighter budget? There's also the older 24.2 MP Nikon D7200, which continues to offer great value if you can find it on sale. At number 3. Nikon D780. The D780 is effectively a hybrid of a full-frame DSLR and a mirrorless camera like the original Nikon Z6. And while it's still relatively expensive, the D780 slight price drop since it landed in 2020 means it's now our top pick for anyone who wants to combine the benefits of mirrorless tech and DSLRs. Building on the solid foundation laid by the D750, see number 8. The D780 uses the same 273-point on-sensor phase detection AF system as the Z6, allowing it to focus rapidly when you're shooting via live view. If you prefer to frame through its optical viewfinder, you'll be able to make the most of its impressive 2260-shot battery life. Our review revealed that the D750's image quality is among the best around, while its 4K video skills are boosted by the inclusion of modern features like face and eye detection. As a relatively new DSLR, it's still quite pricey, but if that isn't an issue for you, then it's one of the best full-frame all-rounders you can buy. Number 2 of my list. Canon EOS 90D. The EOS 90D is quite the step forward for the EOS DSLR line. It's the first model of its kind to sport a 32.5 MP APS-C sensor, which is a generous amount of pixels for both cropping and producing large prints. Unlike the earlier 80D, it also offers uncropped 4K video recording, while a new processing engine and faster burst shooting are also highlights. The 1300-shot battery provides far more juice than you'll get from the average mirrorless camera, while protection against dust and water is also a bonus. In our review, we were impressed by the versatility of the 90D. It's an excellent all-rounder for those who like to photograph a broad range of different subjects. It's worth weighing up whether the benefits of a mirrorless alternative to the EOS 90D, like the Canon EOS M6 Mark II, might appeal to you. The M6 Mark II is smaller, cheaper, and offers faster burst shooting. But by focusing on key areas like battery life, handling and a fully articulating rear screen, Canon has made the EOS 90D A. And number 1. Nikon D3500. Nikon has discontinued the D3500, but you can still find it at many online retailers. That's a good thing, 
because it's an ideal choice for beginners looking to sharpen their photography skills. Despite its age, the D3500 has a fantastically capable APS-C sensor. In our tests, we found the images it produced were top-notch. We were also impressed by its battery life and ease of handling. While experienced photographers should look further down this list for a suitable DSLR, we think the Nikon D3500 is proof that you don't have to pay a fortune to get a great camera. Its controls are accessible for learners and, in the right hands, it's a match for cameras that cost a lot more. During our review, we praised its guide mode for the way it introduces novices to manual controls, building their confidence and creativity. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.